I, I'm making uh, videos to put my testimony out there because I feel the Lord told me to do it and I've been procrastinating and not wanting to do it for so long because I didn't want to put myself out there but I just want this to help people in case they're having similar experiences and so that they can kind of I can be like a soundboard where they can say wow okay that's that happened to me and the, it, it God is speaking to people um, this is I'm counting down the times I've heard the audible voice of God and I'm on number four Four and number five. I'm going to bundle these together because they're kind of similar, but they also have a, a bigger story that I hope you continue to watch these videos because it's very important that you see the continuation of this, uh, these two testimonies. Um, I was worshiping in a, we were Christians worshiping in a Christian church and my husband wanted us to leave there and go to a, a Catholic church so we went and I remember I was in the Catholic church and I was praying and this lady would come in every Sunday and she'd wheel in a little boy he, he was her son he looked like he was about seven or he was small like seven years old and his body it looked like he had cerebral palsy because he was in a wheelchair and his body was incapacitated but I thought his I think his mind was there because he had little books in his wheelchair so anywhere she would come every Sunday and I would see him every Sunday and one Sunday I was sitting there praying and I heard the audible voice of God I heard him say get up and go pray for that little boy and I'm like for his healing and I'm like immediately I'm like Lord um this is what I said. I'm sorry if I offend anybody, but this is what I said. I said, Lord, I'm in a Catholic church. Uh, his, they, cause they didn't really do that in the Catholic church back then. I know that there are charismatic Catholic churches that do this type of thing, but in Christian churches, they go to people and put hands on and pray all the time, but not so much Catholic churches uh, or like, at least I had not experienced it. So, um, I said, Lord, I'm in a Catholic church. The lady's going to say, get away from me, you freak. What's wrong with you? You know, and what if he doesn't get healed, Lord? It was all me, my, my wrong thinking. So I said, I'm just going to pray from here. So I, um, I prayed where I was at, just sitting there. I prayed and I get nothing happened. But anyway, right around that time, like a couple weeks later, one of my dearest friends, from high school she was um, she was addicted to crystal meth um, and her I didn't know that she was addicted I had seen her and she looked like she had AIDS she looked really bad I didn't know what was wrong with her and her sister called me and she said my sister is hooked on this terrible drug and she's dying you need to help her you're a Christian help her and I, I thought, well, I'm going to a Christian, I'm going to a Catholic church. I'm, I don't, they weren't like doing huge deliverance ministries or anything. So, um, I had another friend who was going to another church and, and so she said, bring her here. So I invited my friend who was hooked on crystal meth and I took her to this church and the whole time, all they did was talk about fundraising the whole time. There was no ministry going on. It was just we need money we need money I knew exactly how much money I had in my bank account I had like two thousand dollars in my bank account because I had just deposited a check and I had bills coming in rent due all of that and so I said I'm gonna write a twenty dollar check and as I put my pen to write it I hear the audible voice of God I hear him say write a check for two thousand dollars and I'm like I was frozen I'm like Lord that's all I have and, and Lord I have bills coming in I couldn't do it so I, I wrote like a $200 check and and I gave that well after that I didn't hear the Lord's his audible voice I didn't hear it, him speaking to me anymore and I always said why should he talk to me I don't obey anyway I don't have the faith why should he speak to me well I'm here to tell you right now hindsight is 2020 that was a lie of the devil God never stops speaking to you never he never ever leaves you. He never gives up on us. And but the thing is when we agree with the enemy who talks to us 
um, when we agree with him, we like partner with him and we give him the power. That's what Adam and Eve did. They gave the enemy the power because at, uh, the devil w was saying, God is holding out on you. If you eat this apple, you're going to have everything that God has and he's not giving it to you. I don't know. I'm not a theologian or anything. But the thing is, when Adam and Eve agreed with the devil and believed him and didn't believe the goodness of God, that's when, you know, we fell. But uh, so I agreed with the devil and I said, yeah, why should he talk to me? I don't obey anyway. And I lived like that for, gosh, like five years or actually about six years, about five and a half years. I lived that way thinking God doesn't speak to me. And um, I have a big testimony about what happened after that. So I hope you watch the next video because it rocked my world, totally opened my eyes. And it's such a good, it's, it's really good what happened to me and I want to share it. So, but I'm going to keep these videos down to like under 10 minutes and this is already at six minutes and the next story is huge but it shows so much the nature of God so I hope you watch it thank you